Bam Teddy Atlas. And doing another conversation with you guys out there for dynamicstriking.com. You guys have been getting the videos, the instructional fight videos that I've been doing with dynamicstriking.com. It's on that website, also on BJJ Fanatics. We've done six now, five of them are, one is coming. But if I can remember when we started with the fundamentals of boxing with, with me, uh, we did the, the uh, peekaboo style. You know, Tyson made it famous, but there were other fighters, Floyd Patterson, Jose Torres, uh, Maxi, Max, Ma Maxi, Slapsy, Maxi, Rose, and Lou. That's where it all started, where Cus got the idea for that style, custom model. To incorporate that style uh, of peekaboo, he was a light heavyweight champ all the way back in the 30s, 20s, 30s. Had about 300 fights. Wow! Cuz used to say he could stand right in front of you, couldn't hit him in the backside with a handful of both shots. That's that's why he took that style and he cultivated it uh, into the peekaboo. But you know, we've uh, we also did. What else did we do? We did signature punches of all the great fighters that I came up with. We did the world of jabs. How many different ways you can use a jab. I think I had like 12 or 14 different ways to use a jab. Uh, leg work. Uh, without the legs, you can't deliver the package, right? The punches. And timing. Just how to time a guy. You don't have to be the fastest guy. You can be the fastest guy with good timing. So all those videos, hopefully you, you've you seen them, hopefully you continue to enjoy them. If you haven't seen them, you, you will see them. And today I want to talk about a phenomenon that's going on in boxing. Uh, the Paul brothers, they, they've they been making a lot of money. They I don't know much about their world. I know they got like 20, 30 million followers. They do video games and all that stuff. And now all of a sudden they're doing some boxing and they're making... Well, they make a lot of money. A lot of people are angry, like, oh, gee, it's, you know, it's insulting the sport, the integrity of the sport, it's attacking the fabric of the sport, you know, the dignity of the sport, right? And I, and I, I understand all that. Um, the tradition of the sport, you know, that's not healthy. But I also understand that these guys are marketing geniuses. And it's a different time, 2021, 20, right? It's a different time. If you haven't noticed a lot of the different things out there and you got a lot of whether you call them millennials or just young people but a lot of people out there that are watching their video games and stuff and these guys represent them they can they can connect with these guys and then I think that's the phenomena and I want to explain a little bit but I think that's the phenomena of it where recently a writer asked me Teddy what do you think it's all about I said I think it's about that, you know, there used to be uh, celebrity boxing, and this is taken in years ago, and this is where you had different known people, celebrities fighting each other, and it was amusement, amusement. It was, you know, an event. It was entertainment. But now you take it to a different level. Now it's different. These kids that can't do the training, can't go in the ring, you know, that I'm not saying they're, they're lost, but they're out there, you know, still trying to find their way. They're, they're playing these video games. All of a sudden, one of them is going in the ring with fighters or with people that they handpick. You know, I mean, they pick, well, I guess Nate Robinson was the last one, one of the Pauls, uh, the, the lighter Paul, right? He, he knocked him out. He, uh, the basketball, the former basketball player, uh, Nate Robinson, I believe it was. That he beat. But now they can travel in the ring with them. They can leave their seats during the video games, whatever, and they can venture out with them because it's one of theirs. Like if he can do it, we're doing it with them. It's like he can do it, we can do it. We can do it. maybe we can fight a different kind of fight. Maybe not in the ring, but a different kind of fight. But there's a horizon for us, there's there's a place for us to follow these guys. To be led by these guys, to have hope, to have pride, to be excited about what one of ours is doing. 
they could connect to that. They couldn't connect with other even young fighters. They can't connect with a young great Roberto Duran or Mike Tyson or you know, uh, even Ryan Garcia, one of the young up and coming tremendous fighters out there. They can't connect with them, but they can connect with a Paul. And I think that's a big part of it. And also, I give credit to Paul in, in a way that at least they're approaching it where they're training and they're respecting the sport, trying to learn it the best they can. They're picking their spots, but they're trying at least to do real sparring, real training. You know, I'm not saying they're ever going to be a, a, a real fighter at that level that we talk about in the amateurs at a real level, or, or the pros, of course. But they're, they're doing it the right way. They're learning it the best they can. They're putting their dues in. They're paying their dues, so to speak. Not really, because, not in the other way, because they're making millions of dollars, and that's part of the injustice of it for a lot of fans out there and fighters out there that aren't happy, but they say, I had to go and have 100 amateur fights, I had to go and have 30, 40 pro fights, and I never made any kind of money like that. And these guys have no amateur fights, no pro fights, and they go and they're making millions of dollars. So that's, I get it, that's not fair, but, that, but that's the marketing world. If you can do it, well, anyone would do it. And they're able to do it coming from the world they're coming from right now. They're able to, well, to make a dollar that way. To be able to get people to watch. And the one thing about the phenomena of it and the talents of Paul, even though he's not a great fighter, but he's, like I said, he's, he's picking the spots. They're smart. They're picking the right spots. You know, they're picking guys where they have an advantage. They're, they're managing their way. Can't blame them for being smart. And you can't blame them for making money if it's there to be made. If the market allows it. If people come out and watch it. You can be angry, but you gotta at least appreciate how smart they're being. They're taking advantage of that market creating that market and now there's talk about the smaller Paul fighting the fighter a real fighter a UFC fighter but a real fighter the kid named Askren the, 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 the fighter that got knocked out by Masvidal but he, he's a real UFC you know legitimate fighter so you figure he'd get killed right right okay good he's getting now he's stepping with a real fighter he get killed Here's the thing that I want to finish with. He's picking his spots pretty damn smart. Askren, yeah, he's a real fighter, UFC fighter. Those guys are animals in a good sense. I have all the respect in the world for them. But he's more of a wrestler. He got knocked out by Masvidal. Masvidal is tremendous and, a, and one of the big stars in UFC. And I like him a lot. He knocked him out with a flying knee because he understood that Askren was a wrestler and he would go for that move to, to take him down because he's not really a striker. Paul Smart. People think he's going to get killed. I'm not so sure because he knows he's fighting a wrestler, but you're not allowed to take the guy. You're fighting in boxing rules. So you're not allowed to take him down. So he knows his strength is to wrestle on the mat, on the floor, and everything that goes with the grappling, the jujitsu, whatever it is on the floor. But that's off limits. And he's limited with the striking. And in a, in a short fight, he might be able to outmaneuver, outmaneuver Askren and win a decision. You know, out hustle, move around enough, pick spots. Don't be, don't so Paul short. And again, I'm not saying he, he, he's on a level of, of the fighters that we're talking about, no. But, I'm just saying, he's taking advantage of what's there to be taken advantage of. And he's done his homework. Learning the game the best he can and managing the game the best he can. Very interesting. Even if you get angry, still interesting. See you later.